The nonprofit Community Partnership of the Ozarks says demand for overnight homeless shelters is rising as temperatures fall this winter, but they need more volunteers to keep up. Color 10's Parker Padgett is live in Springfield after speaking to CPO and a man who says their work has very possibly saved his life. Yeah, today I sat down with Kevin Wilson who has been without a home for some time. He says he's thankful for the temporary times he's been given warmth and shelter, but those shelters, like the ones that have helped him, they can only stay open as long as there are people there to run them. I think that these are people who are allowing the will of God to work through their hands. Kevin Wilson is like many unsheltered people in Springfield struggling with the current winter season. I never really had a home. I mean, if home is a place where you feel safe and secure and comfortable. Wilson says this time of year is the worst for him and others on the streets. No matter how much clothes you pile on and bundle up and no matter how warm your feet are, how warm your hands are, you know, you're still breathing cold air and uh, that's not good for you. It's especially difficult when it rains, you know, snow you can brush away, rain just soaks right in and just takes the heat right out of you. He, like many others, frequent crisis cold weather shelters in the Springfield area. The community partnership of the Ozarks says volunteers are needed to maintain those shelters. Volunteers are really critical because that's what determines our capacity each and every single night. So if a shelter can't open, those are beds, those are individuals that are back out on the street. Emily Fessler with CPO says the number of those seeking warmth has risen over the years. Wilson says he's grateful to those who have helped out during the coldest months of the year. They've saved my life. Oh, yeah. Um... You know, just uh, getting out of the cold. Um, I could die of hypothermia just as easy as anyone else. If you have questions about shelter times and locations, you can access that information by downloading the Shelter SGF app on your phone. Now, if you have questions about volunteering, Fessler tells me that you can access information about that by going to CPO's website. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Color 10 News.